Rowan. Yeah, Rowan. Sophie Lelouch, welcome to the UK Jewish Film Festival. Thank you. And congratulations on having your film selected as the opening night gala. Thanks. It must be quite a thrill being that it's your yeah. first film as well. Yes, I'm very excited, very proud and uh, uh, I was a little surprised to, uh, uh, to uh, learn the, that Paris Manhattan uh, uh, made the opening. Well, a pleasant surprise, I'm sure. Yeah. Now, the lead character in your film, she saw her first Woody Allen at 15 and um, it seems like it's a bit of a religious experience for her. Uh, was it the same for you when you saw your first Woody Allen? Yes, it was Anna and her sisters was my first Woody Allen and, uh, and I was 15 years old exactly uh, as Al Alice. It's, it was one of autobiographic uh, things but it was not an autobiographic movie. Uh, it's a personal movie but uh, I remember uh, when I was 15 years old when uh, uh, the movie uh, Anna and her sister finished. Uh, yes, it, it was an experience. It, it was very, uh, you know, I, I say, wow, some people are living like that. Um, and it opens to me a lot of words, uh, not uh, only movies because uh, when you see uh, Hannah and her sister uh, you can uh, hear a lot uh, jazz music and I didn't know nothing about uh, jazz music so uh, say what this kind of music uh, he was talking about uh, Russian literature and I say I, I don't I never read r Russian literature um, he was talking about uh, uh, some poet. Uh, so there was uh, so many words, uh, new words opens to me. And so I say, well, who is this Woody Allen? I didn't, <laughs> why I didn't meet him before my 15 years old? It's exactly the same for both of us, actually. Um, you know, Anton Chekhov is my favorite writer because of Woody Allen. Django Reinhardt because of Woody Allen. Yes. So you're quite right. I think it is an experience shared by many people who are fans. I'm of sure. Work. I'm sure because I think he is, um, he is a lover. So he is so passionate that this passion, uh, you can feel it. So you want to discover uh, because the characters of Woody Allen uh, in the movie. Um, is nervous, is passionate, is integral. So you feel uh, like that, you say, wow, uh, I, I want to discover this kind of uh, things. And when I was watching her, watching the film in the cinema, we, we see her go to the cinema um, to, to watch Woody Allen, and of course it's subtitled. And if you watched your first Woody, at 15. Yes. Um, I don't know how your English was back then, but I was thinking to myself that it must have affected the experience in a really intricate, because you're reading the film, so yes, therefore the experience course. and the humour, it must but change for you over the years as your English has gotten better. And you know my English is not good, so even now uh, I read. I, I'm not, uh, my English is not fluent enough to don't have the caption. It, I have to read. So I, I don't know. It's, you know, even the voice of Woody Allen is like music. So you, uh, you recognize the music and it doesn't care if you read it. And for his fans, the comedy is obviously the biggest draw. But when you were watching these films, when you started to become a fan yourself of Woody Allen, yeah. when did the the Jewish themes of his work uh, begin to resonate with you? Was there a particular film uh, where you started thinking about this, you know, the Jewish heritage and the culture? Oh, I think you, you can find reference uh, maybe in all his movies. So uh, I'm, 
you know it's it's strange because I'm not um, I'm not from uh, I'm, I'm Jewish but from uh, uh, North Africa and it's very different from uh, East uh, uh, Poland and uh, uh, Romania and it's very different and it was very strange because when uh, I, I was uh, l looking movies of Woody Allen uh, it was like my grandmother, my aunt, it's the same. And it's not the same at all because uh, it's not the same culture. But there is something that I recognize, the, the link uh, with, you know, I love the, um, it's a short movie of Woody Allen, uh, Complex of a Deep. Oh yes, in New York Stories. Yes, in New York Stories. And I think is one who is talking the more of the culture, Jewish culture. And your film, it opens like a Woody Allen film, yeah. in that you have the, you know, white lettering on a black background with jazz music playing. Uh, but the, then it cuts into Alice's bedroom. I was wondering if, if perhaps there was ever a version where you played the entire title sequence. Uh, with just the title cards like Woody would do and did you use the same font he always uses that Windsor font and I wasn't sure if it was the same the, lettering the, the, in all the title sequences of his films the letters you see against the black background is always the same font the design of uh, the letters I, 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 don't under, the, I don't understand sorry what the letters of what in his title sequences the, 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 the titles, which is the white letters on yes. the black background, it's, ah. it's always the same style. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Did you use yes, the same yes, style course, in your course. own film? Yes, yes. It's called, it's called the Windsor font. Ah, okay. Is what I, is the I, name. I didn't know. But uh, yes, it was, uh, it was not a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> now, amazingly, you got the great man himself to cameo in your film. So, you know, how, how did this come about? Um... You know, I need to. Uh, I need this cameo for the movie because I, I didn't know if the script uh, was good enough to become a movie, and uh, and uh, I think if Woody Allen uh, told me, uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm very busy, I can't. Uh, for me, it was like uh, forget the movie; it's not good enough. So it was important for me to have uh, the approval of Woody Allen. And was it a very tight schedule for you, the, the window of time that you had to work with Woody? Was he there for you know, one day, two days? No, it's one hour. One hour? Yes. A and what about the voiceover then? Did he record this yes. also in yes. the hotel? No, no, no. He recorded it in New York and uh, it was so nice because um, when uh, we shot the movie, uh, I didn't, you know, I, I didn't think about the voice because um, we thought uh, that we can take the voice of the movie, but it was, uh, it was very dirty. Uh, yeah, the sound quality yes, is not good enough. Yes, so it, it was impossible to use. So uh, <laughs> I asked him, uh, I have one more thing to ask you uh, if you can record it. Okay, and uh, it was very, very nice. And can you talk about writing in the screenplay? You were writing in the voice of Woody Allen um, for his parts. Talk about the challenge of that. And did he have any suggestions for you and say, no. I wouldn't say it like that? No, no. And I think uh, he. he you know it's Woody Allen, so when he, he reads the when he read the script, sure, he, he can s see all the the week of the script, but I think uh, he is an artist, and for him it was important that I make my movie, and uh, because it's not important this movie, the, for him uh, uh, he told me uh, you have to make the second movie and the third movie and so he, for me it was like wow uh, it's not one movie 
and uh, you know, he make 